Welcome back, everybody, to another Camp Minecraft episode. If you're excited for this one, definitely go ahead, hit that like button, show your support. And uh, yeah, all I got to say is a pirate ship is being developed. The sun is also being worked on. Just a whole lot of things happening in this episode. Let me know what your favorite part is in the comment sections. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And also, link in the description to join my Discord. You can leave me your suggestions for future builds in the camp series. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump in today's episode of camp. Zod, Kate... I literally don't hear them anymore, and oh, yeah, 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 that's a warden, that's a warden, and I'm in the back rooms with the warden, and I just, I, I literally have some cooked chickens, a diamond sword, a shield, and a chop chop axe that's literally not gonna do me any good, because it's, it's about to die, I don't have anything, I gotta, oh my gosh, I am so screwed right now, am I in the back rooms, there's literally a back rooms on Camp Minecraft, why would they, why, why me, why would that happen to me, why, of course, my, just my luck, where's this thing, don't, I don't, I don't like this. I, I just, I just need a. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. I'm so lost. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I know I'm running and I'm making noise, but I gotta find an exit because if I don't, I'm dead. I'm dead. I am a de Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, is this the exit? This better be the exit. Oh my gosh, this thing is okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Please be the exit. Where am I going? Is this like another trap? Is that- is that camp? Am I may <laughs> Oh my goodness. I have never been so happy to see camp right now. Honestly, I thought I was a dead man there for a second. And knowing Zud, I almost thought that that escape route was probably another way back into the back rooms, but... What the heck? I gotta tell Sigils about this. There's a back rooms, and I barely just made it out of there alive. Uh, if- for any second, if that was not an exit, I think I would have been dead. I, I would have been dead. I gotta get back to my island. I need a vacation from Camp Minecraft. This is another clear reason as to why I need an island and I need to move as far away <laughs> from camp. What's up, CFC? I oh, mean, I haven't been here in a while. All right, I gotta go check on that later. But in the meantime, I gotta run to my island. I gotta do some stuff. I gotta just take a minute. I can't believe it. There's literally a back rooms in Camp Minecraft. And I, you know what? This is why I have an island. This is literally the main reason as to why I have an island because I need <laughs> I need some peace and quiet. I literally I I don't I don't, th I don't think I'm ever going to be able to like look at camp the same way now. I feel like that place is haunted. I don't want to go there. I can't trust Zud or Kate. I don't or Biffle. I don't know if it's Biffle who's in on the whole back rooms thing, but regardless of the matter, I I made it alive. You know, thankfully I didn't I <laughs> I didn't die, uh, but that's that's why I have an island. All right, look, I have a little boat. It's time for me to upgrade from this little boat, all right? I think it's time to add a pirate ship to this island, and that's exactly what I'm doing. No, we're not going to have a pirate war, like, from Season 2. That I don't think that's happening, but I am going to build my own legitimate pirate ship. I think it's going to look pretty cool, and uh, I'm actually going to put a nether portal on this pirate ship because think about it, all right? I got an island. I got to get from point A to point B on the water and I'm far away from camp so I think it'll be pretty sweet to have the pirate ship act as my main vessel of transportation by using the nether portal so it make my life a little bit easier to getting back to camp even though I don't really feel safe because the back rooms are there and um well you know you know what happened all right so let me get to work time to build this pirate ship link up the portal and uh let's see how this turns out Alright everybody, the island officially has a brand new pirate ship docked and I think it's looking absolutely spectacular. We got the little, the bone and the skull over there. I love it. I mean, this pirate ship looks absolutely awesome. It goes really well with the island and I really have to say, 
I think this is my favorite ever, you know, build project I've ever done on Camp Minecraft. Let me know if you're enjoying it in the comment section and keep letting me know your ideas because this was inspired by the comment section and the next part of it is also inspired by the comment section and that is a nether portal on the pirate ship because think about it. Since this is an island, technically this ship is my way out of this island and I think it's pretty creative to have the nether portal inside this pirate ship to make it just a little bit easier easier for me to get to the island and back to camp without having to walk for miles and miles and miles. So this is what I'm thinking, all right? This is the captain's uh, qu quadrant over here or the captain's layer, and that's where I'm going to be placing the portal. I figured it should take up this whole entire wall because, um, yeah, I mean, it's not so symmetrical where I can actually put a normal nether portal, uh, but it's going to hopefully work. I, I, I don't know. I have the coordinates written down for this. So essentially, if you want to link up a portal, you just got to go here, take your coordinates, and then simply divide by eight for every single coordinate. Then all you're gonna do is light up that portal, go into the underworld and find those coordinates. But my thinking is this portal is pretty much gonna link up and work by itself. So let's go ahead and uh, test this out for a second. Um, hopefully it's a decent spawn. I oh, okay. Okay, this looks pretty decent, looks pretty safe. All right, you know what? I, I think this is fine. So technically, uh, if I go through this portal again, I should be going back to the pirate ship. If I'm not, then I messed up. Oh, okay, perfect. So there you go. All right, that was really easier said than done. I think I didn't need to overthink it by dividing the numbers there because it actually works. There's other ways to do it when you have a nether hub, but the nether hub coordinates are a decent, um, yeah, distance away from this portal. I think I actually wanna, you know what, this is fine. I think this portal is fine over here. I can break the nether rack over here. Oh. That's a little concern. Hopefully no one digs down because <laughs> they, they would be uh, in for a rude awakening. Pretty, pretty hot mess over there. No pun intended, but um, I'm just going to clear up this area. I might just put a safety wall here because knowing me, I could easily just walk off the edge and fall to a uh, really just a burning hot mess over there. So I'm just going to do this, close this up here, make this pretty easy for me to access. And uh, yeah, all right. So I linked up the portal. Now the next thing I have to do is actually build a path all the way to the nether hub. And uh, I think I'm just going to do that off screen because I'm telling you right now, the journey there will take years. So let me go ahead and uh, get to work. But in the meantime, let's get back to the portal. I'll worry about that a little bit later. Um, I actually just wanted to just check out this area. And I was thinking of doing a um, storage area underneath the ship. That way I can have some more storage on the ship and also at my secret base because this place will have a secret base i just don't know yet where i want to put it so i need your help in the comment sections just let me know where you think i should place this um yeah i don't know it could be anywhere it could be on another island but i feel like that would be too far maybe it could be underneath the treehouse maybe i could build like a secret doorway here or maybe underneath one of the trees that are connected to the ground i, I don't know I, I just have a lot of thoughts about this let me know what you think and uh, I'll get to it. Yeah, so enough about those ideas. Uh, let me go ahead and actually get this portal linked up to the main portal hub because I told Sigils I need to meet him by the lawyer's office because as you all know, I was stuck in the back rooms and I feel like I should probably let Sigils know because it was Kate and Zud that were with me that kind of were in on getting me into the back rooms because I think I was onto something with the whole explosion, you know, the faces, the, the mount camp rush more I, I, whatever we want to call that all right <laughs> yeah i'm on to something all right i think i'm on to zud and kate and then i want to show you all a little bit of work on the sun because i've been doing some pretty cool stuff with that but let me get back here and let me get to work yeah, so as you can tell, I, I kind of got a little lazy. I ended up just using cobblestone as little markers to find my way back to the island portal. Uh, let me tell you, it was a bit of a hike just to get here, but I managed to get to the nether hub, which is perfect because, like I said, I got to meet Sigils at the lawyer's office because you guys know pretty well that in the last episode, Zud uh, discovered you know, Sigil's base, and I kind of try to play it off like I've never been there, but that's a big red flag, because uh, now Zud knows where Sigil's base is, but weirdly enough, he said that he that was his first time there, which makes me wonder how did the whole secret base inside Sigil's base happen, and who could it be? Confusing, right? Very confusing, and I also got to warn him about the back rooms on Camp Minecraft, and the fact that Zud and Kate did that whole thing. It's just a big, big mess, all right? So I feel like you guys could just, you know, give me a pass on not building a full tunnel. Pr 
Stop it. <laughs> a full tunnel uh, that connects beautifully to the nether hub. I'll work on that. It's just a bigger project. In the meantime, I got to run over to the lawyer's. I feel like lawyer's office is pretty safe, right? It's, it's, a, it's a little bit quiet, more, more private. I think it's a good meeting, for, meeting spot for Sigils and I. So, uh, all right. I'm just going to wait for him. I told him to meet me here. Hopefully, he's here soon because uh, some pretty big, important things I got to tell him about. So, let's see how he reacts to it. Sigils! Oh, hey, what's hey, man. up, man? Hey, did you cover your tra tracks making your way to the, to the lawyer office? It's pretty yeah. important. I gotta tell you something. Okay. Listen, what do you okay? Need to tell me? Listen, listen, I gotta, I gotta actually make sure. Like, let me just double check. You, okay, you close the door. No one follow. Listen, Sigils, okay? Listen, I I'm took, listening. Uh, it took me hours. It's complicated, but I, I was in the back rooms. The, can, apparently, Camp Minecraft has, has a back room, and I was trapped there for... Wait, like, like you no-clipped into the back rooms kind of thing? Uh, let's just say someone trapped me or sent me to the back rooms in, in Camp Minecraft. Is that what was in that house where we found the pig yeah, before? Yeah, that's, that's kind of what it was. Like no, yeah. Okay. Yeah, listen, I was investigating Kate and Zud for the whole blown up faces things on the mountain. You've probably seen that. It's pretty obvious. But, oh, uh, yeah. I never saw our faces. I just see the ruins of them. Yep, yep. So then uh, what ended up happening was they kind of cornered me into that room. I fell into the back rooms and I was there for, I don't know, five years maybe. So... It's, it, it took me a while, but what? listen. Okay, I don't, I don't know what's happening anymore. Listen, me neither. Okay, I'm and that's ready. why. It's, that's what why did you I, want? That's why I okay, called so you here to tell rooms. you that there's what? some sus stuff going on on camp. Like, okay, so somebody made the back rooms and blew up a face. What is it? What, what Alexson? I ask you to bring me important things, not whatever this is. Listen, this is pretty important. You know, there's some scary monsters down there that chased me. I'm so sorry you were chased by scary monsters, Alexson. All right, now, so if that's if that's everything. Yeah, that's 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 everything. What what else could you possibly? Oh wait, you know what? There's one more thing. What? The, the, no, there's actually one more really important thing. I kind of like completely forgot about it. Uh, Zud found your base. What? Yeah, Zud Zud found your base. He kind of. Uh, you sure it was Zud? Well, he told me it was the first time he found the base, and I know it's Zud because I was with Zud. Listen, I didn't bring him so there. Zud was in my base. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I didn't bring wait, him wait, there. He said it was the first time, like he didn't know about it before. Yeah, no, he literally told me it was the first time he followed the redstone underneath the system that you thought I was, you know, you know, laundering diamond or not laundering, but stealing diamonds from you. Clearly yeah. not me, but like he followed the redstone and went into mm -hmm. your base, and I did everything in my power to tell him to get out of there. Not saying it was your base, but clearly um, that was his first time, quote unquote, that he's been down there. So who could have actually built well, a secret base? Somebody dude? pulled a prank that I pulled on Zud in my base. When was this? Was this recently? This was recently. This was as of like two two suns ago. I was gonna say two moons ago. You see what I did there? Two suns ago. Two suns ago. Okay. Like two sure. days. Good yeah, job. yeah. You two see days. what I did? We don't have to. 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 All right, all right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. I'll work on something else. But yeah, you were saying someone made a trap or a prank. Interesting. I think it was that. It was that. It was that. That prank by base. You know what? You know what? What? This means war. What? Wait, am I, am I involved? Well, I don't... Are you good at pranks? I mean, I could be. Listen, listen, I could I could come up with something. You want me to come up with something? Sure, Alex, then come up with a prank for the prank war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll hire Kate because she has a prank shop, and then, you know, I'll tell her to make Wait, a prank. Kate has and a then prank I'll shop? Yeah, literally, there's a prank shop. You don't know about it? You should go, you should go check it out. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't hire Kate. Okay, She's I won't hire Kate. Oh, that's true. Possibly. We don't know that yet. These doors don't work. What are you doing? I, I see that. <laughs> All right. See you, Sigils. Well, thanks for telling me the... the okay. I, what? what? Listen. So that really is in my base, which means that... I was just, you know, the... You know, where's your horn? There we go. That, now it's official. All right, see ya. All right, so there you have it. Uh, talked to Sigils, told him everything I knew about the whole Zud situation, and uh, yeah, the whole he clearly wasn't concerned that I was stuck in the back rooms. I mean, that is, that's kind of a big deal. I made it out of there, but it took me forever and uh, nearly cost my life. I just uh, I don't know what side I don't know what side Sigils on. Does he, does he just is he just using me for the build? Is he just using me for the sun build? I feel like he is, but I don't know. I have to just keep doing what I'm doing. Are there? Oh yeah, there's a lady still in a Kate shop. Hmm. Maybe I should prank Kate. 
think about it. I'll think about it. So you know how I was working on building a sun uh, for sigils and I? Well, uh, yeah, it's actually coming along quite nicely. I have to say, I think it looks really good. And I'm excited to show you what I've done with the inside and uh, pretty much took, uh, not, eh, didn't really pay for the scaffolds from Sigil Scaffold Shop. I kind of just uh, stole them because kind of we're, we're partners, right? Like, he's not going to really worry. But I figured, uh, let me just go and build up all the way to the top. Um, if you're scared of heights, you might not want to watch this part because this is actually really tall. Um, I broke the scaffolds earlier and I forgot to put them back. So we're going to do this together so you can experience the thrill of uh, climbing up to the sun on Camp Minecraft. So yeah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> It's a journey. It's a journey for sure. I mean, look how many scaffolds I still have to use. I use the full stack and I'm not even done. I'm at the top. This is not even it. This is not even... It's still going. The journey continues to the sun. I mean, I have a cool idea with the sun. And the inside, I think, is going to blow your mind away. It's pretty sick. You're going to see. Check it out. All right. It goes right through the sun for now. I got to work on a way to fix the... It's zombie. What the... I was not expecting a zombie up here so soon. I know I don't have torches. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what the zombie was doing, but it makes sense. I don't have torches. And you're probably expecting that whole entire journey to the sun for the sun to actually be pretty cool inside. Well, it's, it's just hollow. There's really nothing. Some sand, some magma, an orange fox running around, and me just talking to all of you, and it's really hot in here. Uh, but, yeah, that's... That's that's the inside of the sun. I am going to design it though because if I don't sigils is gonna I don't know what he's gonna do But uh, you know, I gotta <laughs> I gotta make this look kind of cool So what I was thinking look I think he might like this I'm thinking this place needs a little bit of some AC, you know I mean we're literally in a sun. It's gonna be really warm So I could probably add some vents at the top and make this place look a little bit nicer inside I've added the sand on the bottom, but I think I can actually mess around with the walls a little bit So uh, let me see what I can come up with because in the next episode I gotta show this to sigils and he has to be impressed because this is like the final straw Okay, hopefully he is because the outside of this project took me forever, but it does look pretty sick. All right, it does look pretty sick. We're going to take a look at it in a little minute, uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to get to work. Start designing this, the sun, the interior of the sun. Let's see what I can come up with. All right, everyone, I might leave you on a little cliffhanger, all right? I actually pretty much completed the interior of the sun, and it is pretty wicked, all right? I gotta say, I think it's actually a really cool base, and it has a nether portal inside, so now it's an easy access to get inside the sun. Now, uh, there's also some special armor and gear that I've added to this. I've also added a really cool lookout, and I'm not gonna show you. I'm gonna wait until next episode when I'm gonna reveal it for the first time in front of sigils, and that way you can get a full reaction of it but in the meantime i'm gonna take the portal I, at least you can see the portal all right that's all i'm gonna show you let's get out of here now all right next episode make sure you stay tuned subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll catch you all in the next episode hopefully you guys will be around oh yeah here's a little sneak peek of the sun shield pretty cool stuff hopefully you enjoyed today's episode i'll see you next time peace out